so hello friends once again i welcome you all on my youtube channel on english literature english language teaching and education today it has become very much difficult to find out which material is useful and really meaningful for us while preparing ugc net exam in english literature yes friends here on this channel on this portal of coaching on ugc net set exam in the subject of english literature i am dr rajnikanth dodia assistant professor of english going to provide you such material in the form of different types of videos and the best thing is that it's completely free for you there is no cost of this material okay you just need to subscribe my channel and you will find a lot of video material on this platform with clear and easy explanation on various topics of english uh, so watch full video where i have i have explained some of the very very important questions on the history of english literature and please find the details of the video in the description of this video as well before that subscribe this channel for for the latest and upcoming free videos on ugc net english literature so let's move on to the video <coughs> so the first question of today's video is the age of chaucer covers the period from we have four different options friends we have to find out one correct answer from these options so options are here the first one is 1340 to 1400 then 1330 to 1400 then 1340 to 1404 then 1339 to 1400 so we have to find out the correct answer from these options and the correct option the correct answer is here it is a 1340 to 1400 yes the age of chaucer covers the period from 1340 to 1400 the 60 years of age yes friends <coughs> actually geoffrey chaucer was born in 1343 in london in uk yes friends and died in 1400 in the in the same city of london his age was of 57 years around 57 years he lived okay and is considered the age of chaucer this timeline of his age is considered as the age of chaucer in the history of english literature this age is the first significant age of chaucer in the history of english literature it is the most important period of the literary history of english it is also named as the age of transition yes friends is the age of transition it is also considered it's a second name of this period age of transition and growth of national sentiment is also seen in this age in this particular age okay friends so the next question the next question is which is the correct chronological sequence of these three phases of the 100 years war between england and france there was a war between england and france and it lasted for 100 years yes friends so we have to find out uh, the perfect the correct chronological order the sequence of these three phases and these phases are here Uh, first option is caroline war edwardian era war the lancastrian war second is the lancastrian war the caroline war the edwardian era war third is the caroline war the lancastrian war the edwardian era war fourth one is the edwardian era war the caroline war or the lancastrian war yes so we here we have to find out the correct order of uh, history where it was uh, <coughs> fought between england and france so the correct option is here it is d yes first edwardian era war then caroline war then lancastrian war so friends uh, these three phases are there in the history of english literature where the war the 100 years war was fought between england and france the first war is edwardian era war in the era of edward the king yes 
it is the first phase of 100 years war lasting from 1337 to 1360 during this phase edward third's army defeated the french yes friends edward third's army defeated the french at the battle of crecy in 1346 and again in 1356 in the at the battle of poet yes friends and the second war the caroline war <coughs> the second phase we can say of 100 years war uh, was lasted from 1369 to 1389 yes friends 1369 to 1389 uh, the caroline war was fought between england and france then the third one is before that let me explain about the second phase charles V resumed the war it was charles V, the person the king who resumed the war after the treaty of bretigny signed in 1360 okay it was the reason that uh, the second phase of war started at that time and the third one the lancastrian war the third phase of 100 years war lasting from 1415 to 1429 for 14 years yes friends so henry V of england invaded normandy and the 100 years war was won by france at uh, in the final yes in the final war it was <coughs> won by france so three different phases are there of 100 years war edwardian war caroline war then lancastrian war yes friends the next question the next question is what was the name of the host of the inn who suggested storytelling during the pilgrimage in the Canterbury Tales. Yes, Canterbury Tales is the great write, writing by Chaucer, Geoffrey Chaucer and there, there was a character and we have to find out the name of that character who was the host of that inn and suggested storytelling during the pilgrimage. Yes, here we have options. First one is the knight then Harry Bailey, then Thomas Puckett, then the general. So we have to find out the right answer, uh, which can be the right answer, friends. So we, here we have the option, we, uh, sorry, we, here we have the right answer. It is Harry Bailey, yes. Harry Bailey is the character who suggested to arrange a contest of telling a story during the time of pilgrimage he was also the judge of the contest yes friends and here uh, i have to mention some of the portraits of the pilgrimage in the canterbury tales yes friends so some of the characters are there yes the first one is knight he was the first storyteller okay the second one is the queer the queer was the knight's son yes then yeoman yeoman was the servant of the knight so three people in one family the knight the father the queer is the son and yeoman is the servant then prioris prioris is madam eglantine then monk monk was totally in contrast to his profession then the friar the friar's name was hubert then another, another other characters are there uh, the first one is the merchant merchant was an arrogant person then clerk of oxford he was a student then sergeant of law lawyer to the king then franklin franklin was a wealthy landowner then important one gilsman gilsman five different gilsmen were there the names are here uh, uh, the names are based on occupations the, uh, the names are here Herbardasher, first one, then Carpenter, then Weaver, Dyer, and Tapestry Maker. Yes, Herbardasher, Carpenter, Weaver, Dyer, Tapestry Maker. So, five different guildsmen were there in the uh, uh, who joined the pilgrims. Yes, and the cook who was working for these guildsmen, a cook was there. Then a shipman. 
shipman was an expert sailor then comes uh, doctor doctor was a physician then the last but not the least the wife of bath the fa very famous character of canterbury tales uh, wife of bath is uh, a weaver professionally and her name is ellison yes friends so uh, once again the revise the question uh, the name of host of the inn who suggested storytelling during the pilgrimage in the canterbury tales so it was harry bailey the host of the inn suggested storytelling and also uh, organized a contest of storytelling and became the judge of the same yes friends the next one is the black death of the bubonic plague was spread in europe during so we have to find out the proper timeline uh, during which the spray it was spread a lot in england in europe yes friends the options are here uh, 1345 to 52 or 1348 to 50 or 1342 to 53 or 1343 to 52 so we have to find out the right answer here friends uh, so let's find the right answer the right answer is here it is b it was spread in europe in 1348 to 50 during these uh, two or three years it was spread a lot in europe yes this bubonic plague the black death is named given to this plague yes friends around more than four million people were killed in this plague it reached to england in june 1348 by summer in uh, 13 49 it covered the entire country yes friends by summer it covered the entire country in 1349 uh, in the same way in 1665 plague spread again in london killing almost a quarter of london's population in just 18 months yes friends so black death or the bubonic plague was spread in europe during 1348 to 50 so we have to remember just two digits 48 to 50 yes the next question the next question is the pearl poet is also known as so there is a uh, character pearl poet an, uh, anonymous character in the history of english literature in the middle ages english yes and we have to find out the name for him so here we have options the given poet or the divine poet or queer poet or peasant poet so we have to find out the correct option friends the correct option is here a given poet yes given poet is the correct name given to this pearl poet okay friends uh, given poet is an unidentified poet known as given poet pearl poet the pearl is a poem written in a dream vision form yes in a dream vision form it was written it is uh, written in middle english language in the 14th century other such poems were uh, here these are mentioned other such poems are cleanness patience sir gavin and green knight yes friends three different poems are there uh, <coughs> like the pearl poetry and the pearl poem is written in dream vision by unknown poet named as given poet yes friends now the next question the next question is who called chaucer as the father of our splendid english poetry as the father of splendid english poetry so we have options it was samuel johnson or was it matthew arnold or john dunn or john gover so who uh, stated this as the chaucer as the father of splendid english poetry so we have the right option here right answer here it is matthew arnold it's b yes friends uh, chaucer was an english poet and writer considered uh, uh, the greatest english poet of the middle Eng english yes friends canterbury tales as we discussed earlier is his best known work he is also called 
द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश पोएट्री यस फ्रेंड्स विद हिज अटेम्प्ट एट लिटरेचर द लिटरेचर ऑफ इंग्लिश स्टार्टेड एट दैट टाइम यस दैट्स वाइट ही इज कॉल्ड द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड ऑल्सो द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश पोएट्री मैथ्यू आर्नोल्ड कॉल्ड हिम द फादर ऑफ अवर स्प्लेंडिड इंग्लिश पोएट्री एंड जॉन ड्राइडन वॉज देयर हु कॉल्ड हिम एज द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश पोएट्री सो ओनली स्प्लेंडिड वर्ल्ड इज नॉट देयर सो वी हैव टू कीप इन माई इन आवर माइंड दैट वेन इट इज आस्क एज हु कॉल्ड चौसर एज द फादर ऑफ स्प्लेंडिड इंग्लिश पोएट्री द आंसर इज मैथ्यू आर्नोल्ड एंड इफ इट इज आस्क एज Uh, who is the father of english poetry then the answer is john dryden it depends upon the options given in the questions okay friend friends so uh, once again uh, the statement given by matthew arnold uh, as chaucer is the father of our splendid english poetry yes the next question is in chaucer's dream allegory the book of the duchess yes the book of the duchess an elegy is written on the death of so here we have to find out the person on whose death this elegy was written by chaucer yes it is also a dream allegory by him so options are here prioris the wife of bath blanche or hypernestra so four different options are here we have we have to find out the correct answer here and the correct answer is here it is c blanche so on the death of blanche the book of duchess was written by chaucer blanche was the duchess of lancaster yes uh, blanche was the duchess of lancaster the book of the duchess was published between uh, 1368 to 69 yes it was the year 1368 to 69 when it was published by chaucer this poem is considered as elegy and also eulogy composed of more than 1300 lines in octosyllables around 1300 lines are there in this poetry composed in octosyllables yes friends so once again the book of duchess and elegy is written on the death of blanche the duchess of lancaster the next question is which of the poem which of the following poem is written to celebrate the marriage of king richard ii to n of bohemia so there is a question regarding one marriage between king, uh, king richard ii and n of bohemia so we have to find out the poem the options are here troilus and cressid then the legend of good women then the parliament of fowls then roman de la rose so we have to find out the correct answer here friends uh, the correct answer is here it is c the parliament of fowls yes friends uh, the poem parliament of fowls was written to celebrate the marriage of king richard ii to n of bohemia yes this poem by chaucer this uh, parliament of fowls it is a poem by chaucer written in the form of dream vision dream allegory yes friends in rhyme royal stanza form the form is rhyme royal stanza form also called the parliament of brides yes it is different name not in english the english version is here in the bracket parliament of birds yes uh, it is named as parliament of birds it's another name composed in 700 lines and uh, in published in 1380s yes it has 700 lines in it the poetry has 700 lines and was written in 1380s so once again uh, the poem written by chaucer the parliament of fowls or the parliament of birds we can say was written to celebrate the marriage of king second king richard second to n of bohemia okay and it has 700 lines composed in around 1380s that's it the next one the next question is chaucer's canterbury tales include so what does it include we have to find out the options are here the options are 
it ha has it uh, 26 tales narrated by 29 pilgrims or 24 tales narrated by 29 pilgrims or 22 tales narrated by 27 pilgrims or 24 tales narrated by 24 pilgrims so which can be the right answer friends it's very famous question many times it has been asked in exams of UGC NET, SET or JRF or PGT, TGT or you can say PhD entrance test so uh, let's answer the question the correct answer is here it is B 24 tales narrated by 29 pilgrims so Canterbury tales is a collection of stories okay 24 tales are there narrated by 29 pilgrims in their way to the shrine of martyr Saint Thomas Bucket in Canterbury yes friends it was narrated in different 29 pilgrims on the way to the shrine of martyr Saint Thomas Bucket who was living in Canterbury and these people are going there and during the uh, pilgrim during the pilgrimage they narrated different stories and the story number is 24 tales and the pilgrims are 29 and uh, once again Harry Bailey is there the host of the inn suggested a storytelling contest and he also also suggested that the best story would be awarded an elegant dinner at the end yes an elegant dinner would be the award for the best storyteller at the end of the uh, pilgrims so the host became the judge of this contest Chaucer actually planned each character should narrate four tales yes Chaucer's plan was uh, to uh, to be to make the uh, people narrate four uh, four tales each but only 24 tales got written out of 120 so once again Chaucer's Canterbury tales include 24 tales narrated by 29 pilgrims okay the next question let's move on the next question is which work of Chaucer carries the influences of Boccaccio, Ovid, Virgil's Enid and Dante's Divine Comedy these uh, four different characters are very important figures in the history of uh, literature not English literature but in other language literature Boccaccio, Ovid, Virgil and Dante yes friends so we have to find out the correct answer the correct uh, option which has the influence of Boccaccio's Ovid, Boccaccio, Ovid Virgil's Enid and Dante's Divine Comedy the options are here the book of the Duchess, the legend of good women Canterbury Tales or the house of fame so we have to find out the correct answer here friends so which can be the correct answer let's find it the correct answer is D the house of fame yes the house of fame has the great influence of Boccaccio, Ovid, Virgil's Enid and Dante's Divine Comedy uh, the house of fame is actually an autobiographical poem written in dream, dream allegory it was written in dream allegory form by Chaucer and it has three different books the book one begins with the narrator dreaming about a temple dedicated to the goddess Venus yes and book two the narrator is carried out by uh, the narrator is carried by an eagle in book three the narrator reaches to the house of fame and meets the goddess of fame once again I am repeating uh, I am repeating the uh, titles of the books the book one uh, was begun with the narrator dreaming about a temple there is a dream about a temple in book one dedicated to the goddess Venus and in book two the, the narrator is carried by an eagle and in third book the narrator reaches the house of fame and meets the goddess fame yes so once again uh, this is an autobiographical poem by Chaucer it is a it is a dream allegory form and written in three different books so the house of fame has the great influence of Boccaccio, Ovid, Virgil's Enid and Dante's Divine Comedy 
so friends uh, that's all for for today we have learned 10 different things of english literature with explanation and some details as well if you have any query regarding preparation of english uh, UGC, UGC net exam you can contact me via social media or phone i have given my details there in my youtube channel the details are available and uh, in the coming videos in the next videos i am going to explain more topics of english literature that can be very very useful for you and will remain as a long lasting memory in your mind and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get latest videos on UGC net exam yes thanks for watching goodbye and jai hind